everybody welcome back to diva styles in this video i'm pretty much going to be showing you how i change uh colors of images backgrounds and logos it is like really simple i'm also going to do it in microsoft so that should be interesting but let's go ahead and first start with um just some some logos and i just and now this works on any logos I went on ahead and, and zoomed in so you guys can see. Um, pretty much all you do is click on your image, go to format, and recolor. The recolor tool is pretty much what you need. And they have like some basic colors right here, but if you want a different color, go to more variations and um, set it to what you want. And that's pretty much all you do format, recolor. Format, recolor, more variations, uh, purple. We don't know. So that's how you do that on uh, just images. Uh, backgrounds are a little bit different, especially if um, they are multicolored. Trying to make this a little bit bigger. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Okay, so say for example you wanted to use this anchor background, but you know, it's boring, it's plain. You want another color, format, recolor, uh, more variations, more colors. Let's uh, go with the blue, I guess. I don't know. And there you go. You've now changed it to blue. And it'll be the same thing with images that are different colors, except for I think that it'll make it. Um, different variations of that color. Like if I choose the pink, I think it's going to be like light pinks and dark pinks. Yeah. Which is still cute. That's still a cute background. That looks like it reminds me so much of some bubble gum. It's cute. Really cute. Um, now let's see images. How will it do on images? Because you know, images also have a bunch of different colors. I usually just use it on logos and background. Oh, girl, you too close. You too in my face. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, Mini Mouse. Let's see you format, recolor. And I think it'll be the same thing as with the backgrounds. I think it will pretty much just make her a bunch of different shades. Yeah. But depending on the style and the theme, I mean, you could still use that Minnie Mouse. Shoot. That's cute. I actually like that. Um, so that is how you do that in Publisher. Now, y'all, let's pop on over to Microsoft. Y'all know I do not dabble in the Microsoft. I do not dabble in this. Oh, Jesus. Okay, be with me on this. All right, let's go to downloads. Let's just, uh, where we gonna go, y'all? Logo. Yeah, let's go to this folder. Logo, logo. Get a different logo. Okay, let's do Chanel. I haven't done Chanel. Um, it should be the same thing for this as well. Um, color. I mean, make sure you clicked on it, then go to color. And then, as you see, it brings up some colors. But if you want, you can go to more variations. And um, let's choose a bright pink and see how that works. Oh, my God. See, this is why I don't dabble on Microsoft. Microsoft be on that bull. Okay. Let's color. Now, okay, you change that. You even changed to that little ugly color there. But you will not change the pink. Oh, holy Hades. Picture color option. See, this is why I don't dabble in this. But you know what? For those of you that do dabble in Microsoft, like I always say, y'all the real MVP. It is too hard for me. Now, if you do work in Microsoft, you can always color the, the picture somewhere else, save it, and upload it in Microsoft, because this here, boy, click on it, 
color. Or maybe it's just the pink it won't do. Let's try a different color. Uh, let's try blue. Okay, I see it change. Okay, it did change. It just did like a like a small change. Very, very small. I don't know how to get that to lighten up more to where it's the actual, the actual color that I want it to be. Anywho, I'm, I'm you know what? I'm going to figure this out because I, I can't deal with this. But um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video right here while I try to figure this out. As soon as I get it figured out, y'all, I'm going to upload another video. But for the basics, that's pretty much what you do in Microsoft. Go to Formats, Color, and it brings up Basic Colors. Maybe if I change the tone, do that change it? No. Yeah, I got to get this figured out. This is going to mess with me now. What's, or what's correction? No, I know what corrections is. Hmm. Go down to artistic effects. Let's see what the heck this is. <laughs> I actually like that. That's neat. Okay. I done learned something new. I actually like that. It made it look like um like I said plastic wrap. What else y'all got? Mm mm. Nah, leave me alone. Crisscross edging texture cement light screen. Let's see what the cement is. What does that look like? Okay. Not okay. That look like it actually looks like fabric. Does Publisher have that? If it does, I have never noticed that before. Let me see. Um, format. No, it does not. Picture effects. Mm -mm. Nope, it does not have that. So Microsoft, that is a neat thing. If you want to go and explore this uh, a little bit more, it is format artistic effects. It has a ton of different effects. Um, these things are nice. I actually like the plastic wrap myself. The plastic wrap was on point. Let me see what that do. Ooh, Jesus. Now, see, depending on, I can see that on a t-shirt. I can definitely see that on a t-shirt. All right, you guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this for this video. Hit 10 minutes to be too goddamn long because ain't nobody sitting through that. Nobody got time for that. All right. So if you have any questions, I will see you guys soon. Bye.